everybody, welcome back to Minecraft, Tazcraft, whatever you want to call it. So, um, this is, this is take number five. Two of them were my fault, three of them were somebody else's fault. Let's just get this out of the way, shall we? So, what I want to get, what I want to do is I just want to shotgun this. Um, 13's going down, uh, I'm tearing it apart, it's gonna be gone. Um, I know people like, or I know some people that liked this build, uh, it's I, I love this build personally I think it's really nice for considering what it is um, just the arrow the arrow stream um, you know diner thing but uh, it needs to go it needs to go I've got too many shops downtown we gotta remove one of them because I'm building a new one so I didn't want to have I didn't want to take up too much real estate realty yeah realty uh, so we're going to get rid of 13 instead we're going to take that beacon, we're going to put it behind the spawn portal, and that's going to be that. Done. End of discussion. Second thing. Um, someone built a notice board. This is not the notice board they built. I built a new one. <laughs> um, I did a no-no on the server. Uh, I did ask about it beforehand because uh, the other one looked just god-awful. Um, and I'm sorry if you're listening to this and you're the one who built it because, um, yeah, it, it would have been fine if it was, uh, not horribly positioned. Um, but it was, it was just terribly positioned. So, uh, you'd come out of the portal and the board was literally right here, which if you hadn't noticed, kind of cuts off access to a lot of stuff. And it just takes up a whole bunch of real estate, and this wasn't being used anyway. Don't put things in the way if there's a perfect place out of the way where you can put them. That's all I have to say about that. Don't do that. So, <laughs> so that's all done. We don't have to worry about it. Um, this is the uh, well. This is going to be taken down because we're going to be going over here and rebuilding a new build, or I shouldn't say rebuilding, we're building a new building here so that everybody in spawn has access to these buffs and that was the overarching goal here. So um, the goal was put beacons down in spawn so everybody has the movement speed, everybody has the jump, and everyone has a good time because that's kind of what we want that's where we want to be at in this server right we just want to have a good time and uh, it makes it a whole lot easier to not have to deal with uh, spawn and its shenanigans if the beacons are up and people can move about their day now couple things first thing is because beacons are here we gotta change their colors because that's that's the plan. The plan is we're going to make a, a color changing um, build underneath and it's gonna rotate through and we're gonna change the colors of the beacons and it's going to look very, very, very nice. That's that. The other part to that is we're moving that beacon behind that portal and um, I, I've I really only highlight, want to highlight one other problem, and this is only a problem because I made it a problem, and people are not going to be able to recover from this, I don't think. They should be able to recover from this. This is not that complicated of a situation, but uh, essentially, uh, I, I, I blew up one industry, um, and, and that's, that's quartz. So uh, if you come up here, one stack of quartz for two diamonds. That is how that is how hurt this entire server is for quartz now, so that's not good. Um, but that's that's kind of just where we're at. Uh, oh, that's weird. Another brick wall and another brick. Okay, cool. Um, might have to do something with that later. But anyway, that's what happened. Um, everybody else has bought out. All the rest of the courts and or the person who owns this bought out uh, Owl and is trying to double the price on me and I ain't gonna fly because it wasn't worth one diamond to begin with I was being I was still being generous I still don't think quartz is worth that much uh, 
because it's not in full quartz blocks and I can get quartz blocks just by selling to my villagers. So absolutely no point in me pursuing that further. Uh, but just to let you guys know, I blew up the economy. So that's fun. But uh, to show how much we blew up the economy and quite how uh, completely um, uh, uh, over... I don't know how uh, how I should phrase this. Um, how overburdened I am with the amount of diamonds I am carrying around on my butt. Um, <laughs> uh, we're going to be showing off a whole lot with this build here. So we're going to be using uh, diamonds in terms of a dance floor. I want to do um, other blocks that I haven't really seen used all that much. For example, the honeycomb block and stuff like that. So we're going to be doing a whole bunch there and hopefully it looks really 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 good. And I think that's all for now. I'm going to have to talk to uh, Hackster um, for Hackman Studios. Hackster Studios? I can't remember what the, his what his YouTube is. Um, but we're going to have to work, I'm going to have to work on a gold farm and I'm sure he's going to want one as well. So that's going to be a project that we're probably going to do later on and should make this even that much better. So this build, uh, let's get the beacons rotating like they should and the color wheel and, um, we will get everything else once that's done, I think. Yeah, something like that. It's cool. See you in a bit. Whoop, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, so we are back, guys. Um, I've been going back and forth trying to figure out how the heck to throw this together. Uh, I came up with a cool idea for the roof. Um... And I told you last time, I believe, that I was going to work on getting the colors working for the beacons. And that's not happening right now. It, it's just, it is not happening right now. So <laughs> we're going we're gonna to fix it up. Um, but uh, I decided instead, oh goodness, um, I decided instead to work on this roof idea that I had for the inside and this is how it's kind of gonna look I'm using a whole bunch of redstone torches for it um, but it's all gonna come down to a point there's gonna be this uh, three by three square that is open in the middle and when we fill it up so that's just gonna be darkness with redstone torches on top of each one now um, I'm, I'm hoping that this works out. Uh, I'm not sure how... Uh, I'm, I'm just not sure how anything is going to be at this point. We'll figure it out when we cross that bridge, but hopefully this gives you kind of an idea of where we are at. Uh, I've been... Uh, there is a side project that I was hired to do uh, that would be working on somebody's... Uh, one of somebody somebody's base um, we're gonna be doing a medieval style mansion which um, seems good seems like seems like we'll do a fine job with it um, so I'm not really worried about that it's just going to be time-consuming that's all which I mean taking a break from this is probably a good thing in all honesty so so if we come down here yeah we're gonna see all those torches and then we're gonna have at least three more triangles coming out of this. Uh, I, I say triangles loosely, but I, I mean, for the most part, they, they are. They're just, they're just really weird in terms of sectioning off with Minecraft. So we're gonna be finishing the roof up and then we'll see about uh, what else is going on. I really just wanted to finish that up just so that we had lighting up there so we weren't getting weird spawns because that would be super bad. And we're probably going to do redstone torches. Oh, well, redstone torches produce seven lights, so I need to redstone torch the entire thing. So we're probably not going to redstone torch the top. We're probably just going to regular torch the top of this. But uh, we should be in a pretty good position, I think. Um, the walls definitely need to be taller. Uh, so that's going to be another grind for me, uh, trying to get all of this 
another brick wall, but uh, I'm sure once that is done, um, we'll start working on the outside of this building because I, I wanted to get the roof, the inside roof done. Um, obviously, obviously there's going to be a roof on top of this to keep it all in, and um, that will look really, really good once it's once it's in place. Uh, and then we're going to have outside walls kind of coming up and giving it a more three-dimensional look as opposed to just being another brick wall. So that's going to be super, super helpful. It's not going to look quite as garbage as it does right now. I know I usually try not to badmouth myself too much on these, but um, it's looking a bit rough at this point. That's all I'm going to say. So uh, please, please save me. That's all I gotta say. All right, I'll be back. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. And uh, with this project, I have become thoroughly familiar with the taste of Clorox. So <laughs> we are in the bottom of the brand new um, building that we've built, and it is it is finally all working. So uh, I thought that the best thing to do would be to just have everything on the same timer and then have everything go at one time and yeah that didn't work so I built each one its own individual timer with the redstone um, so when one goes and then it goes to another one and then it goes to the next part and it goes to the next part and they all work fine now um, for some reason, when I did it the other way, where I decided to have things fire, um, two, like three of them would work fine, and then one would be off to set, and then it would break the entire thing. So right now, we have all of the beacons fully set up. I'm not going to have you walk all the way up there with me, because it is a long way up. I built this at level 12, I believe. So... This is not the most ideal place, but uh, I mean, it goes through everything, and hopefully, Vian um, won't be too mad with beacons going through as opposed to having all of this machinery. And hopefully, he builds it high enough where he can't hear any of this because this does get kind of loud. So, we're gonna move on, and I will see you guys in just a so here we are at the outside of the building and I think it came together wonderfully. I think it looks super awesome. Uh, even the colors coming down, it looks like it is actively impacting the earth every time these things switch colors. We're just like, ooh, I, I, I don't know. It takes a while for it to switch, there you go. Um, I could make it faster, but I really, really don't think that's a great idea. Um, because this is always loaded. So we're just not going to uh, overdo it and we're just gonna keep the beacons doing what they're doing. But yes, I redid all the sides. Um, I was gonna do an update video when I had all of the nether brick in place and then I'm all like, why would I do that? It's a nether brick box. Everybody knows what a nether brick box looks like. So we got all of these <laughs> he actually doesn't like the bamboo now. How am I not surprised? Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I... So we threw it all together. It is it is good to go. The only thing we gotta do is work on the inside, and we can walk in right now and show you that. There is only one entrance to this building, and it is, of course, right here, which no one can tell, literally. It's... It's a secret. People are gonna be people who don't know this are gonna be wandering around forever looking for it. Um, but yes, obviously we're using diamonds and these um, honeycomb blocks because I kind of like the look of the honeycomb blocks in all honesty. So that's gonna be kind of our theme. We're gonna use dark oak wood. Uh, I think it gives it a really good contrast, makes the colors pop, and the two colors in and of themselves are very bright and vibrant. And we have our dance floor, of course, right here, made out of diamonds and lantern er, and lamps. Uh, so this is going to be super, super nice. People are going to get down, uh, along with the butt funnel, because everybody who doesn't need a good butt funnel. So that's all there. Obviously. 
the ceiling is still super high up, so I don't know what I want to do with that. Mainly because it makes the entranceway just look a little awkward. Um, I can still jump up here. But uh, it does mean we're going to need to find a way to section this off in some way. I want to keep the beacon visible, but I don't know how exactly I'm going to do any of that yet. But this is what we got going on the inside. Hopefully the outside looks um, looks as amazing as I think it does. Because uh, I, I, I was super excited when it all came together. Like... It's, it's one of those things that's uh, repurposed industrial. Uh, obviously industrial because of the lack of windows and just the, just the bulkiness of it, but um, I really didn't want to put too many windows in this building in and of itself, so we had more room to play around with some, some different types of uh, ways to build things. So. We're going to check some stuff out. Uh, I do have some nether warp block, which I was playing around with a little bit, and I wasn't having very good luck with it, because it, like, the idea was is it kind of looks velvety, as it were, or something, so I was like, let's do it like, like some tapestry or something with it, or I don't know what to do exactly with the nether warp block, but if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. We're going to keep uh, working away at this, and I will see you guys in a bit. Hello everybody, welcome back to 13 Tazcraft, whatever, I, I shouldn't even put this as a new intro, but this is all going away. Um, I just wanted to show you the new building and where we're putting all of this stuff before uh, I end up moving it all over. So let's just take a walk over to the giant board cube and we'll go from there and oh yeah, giant board cube. So besides the uh, Satan, all right. Uh, besides the bamboo that shot up, um, nothing else really has happened in spawn other than building of this. And we come through, and voila, we have our nightclub. Cause who doesn't need a good nightclub? So um, I think the bee. The, uh, the honeycomb blocks are super good in the entranceway. I've, you know, sectioned off each little each little booth. We've got three booths and then a couch over here. So, uh, yeah, no, I figured, I figured one diamond for each head so people can just take the heads off the wall. We'll replace, I think I have replacements for most of them. I don't even know if most of them is the right thing, but, um, I mean, we pretty much have all the heads, so... <clears throat> or not all the heads, but like a reasonable amount of heads that people could just come up and buy. Uh, someone already came in and bought a dragon head and the not angry bee head, so I don't know how I'm going to get those, but that's going to be fun. So that's that, and uh, we'll move on off of the dance floor. And we've got our little bar area. I'm going to put some... Uh, brewing stations up here. I don't think that's actually necessary, but um, because I mean, it looks kind of fine as it is. I think I should at some point come through and change at least one of these layers so that doesn't look like it's all the same as the floor. I don't know what uh, I'm going to use for that yet, but uh, for the most part, I love how this came out. Um, just kind of a casual, casual nightclub type thing. Um, a whole bunch of diamonds. I went through over a stack of diamond blocks for this, so uh, I hope that I hope people appreciate it. Really. Other than that, uh, yeah, I think what else we're selling? We're selling um, the gems. Again, someone bought like five. I ended up replacing four of them. I didn't have any more sapphires, so I'm gonna have to go adventuring here soon. Uh, horse armor, one diamond, any of them, doesn't really matter because I'm not using them. Uh, and then music discs are two because I have both cat. So people should be super happy with that. Some slime and some honey. And that's what we got going on. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, it's kind of a kind of a crazy transformation. I was really sketched out for a point there where I'm like, should I really be doing this? Is before I put this down, um, 
or I think I might have just started putting it down. I still had grass blocks in here, and it was just, it looked so bad. But I think things started to come together, and I've been super happy with it. Um, I decided the lights across, and um, literally no point in here is below that threshold, so nothing's going to spawn. But uh, I thought that this was a great table idea, just because, in terms of, in terms of tables, you know, like, yes, it's a table because you know, like, you just sit up here, you have your drink down, whatever, you know, talk, but um, it has a light source on it, so we're making sure to keep above that seven threshold. So, yeah, I was super, I was super happy how it came out. Um, I know I showed off the redstone a little bit earlier. Beacons change colors every 32 ticks. Yeah. So that's going on, and hopefully you guys enjoy this brand new building. So um, we're also going to be so I'm going to be taking down 13. We're going to be moving the beacon inside of the inside of the mountain. And I don't think I need to put that on camera because it's going to be a sad experience. Obviously, 13 is just a super unique building for spawn. But again, not the place where we should put it, probably, because we've got way too many. And I could just throw the food in my brand new store. Um, really, you don't want to explain why slime is is in your is in your store, nor a bunch of monster and mob heads. So we're gonna. So we're going to take this down, it's going to be sweet, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. That's a brand new building, I'm just going to call it the cube. So, cube done. Take it easy guys.